First case of COVID-19 in the U.S. that is not linked to foreign travel has been confirmed. And now there are new fears about the spread of the coronavirus. 13 on your side's Elena Holland has more now on how local health officials are preparing for an outbreak. Elena. Hi, Juliet. First, health professionals want you to know they are preparing for an outbreak, as they do for all diseases entering the U.S. And there is a plan in place to help prevent the spread. And so it really is the fear of the unknown. Julie Bolson is the director of business assurance at Spectrum Health. She wants you to know the hospital and the country is ready for a local outbreak of coronavirus. You know, we, we live in a country who is very focused on being proactive in our planning and our preparedness. And we have been doing this level of preparedness since after 9-11. She says at Spectrum, their plan is the same as it was for H1N1 and the Ebola virus. First, identify symptoms. That's fever, cough, shortness of breath. Then avoid the emergency department or waiting rooms if possible by using the phone or video chat for your provider, like Spectrum Health Now. If you must come inside, first tell someone right away if you've recently traveled to China or been around someone who has. There are signs like this posted inside the emergency department. Nurses will give you a mask. And then they'll also take this, the patient and put them into um, a room, separate them from the rest of the waiting room. Again, in the hopes that we're going to try to contain this. Bolson says the disease is not something that will make a healthy person extremely sick, no more than the flu. But for someone with a compromised immune system or the elderly, it's probably a good idea to stay away from public spaces for a while. And we know it's going to spread, right? I mean, we're not denying the fact that we're going to get more cases. Um, it's just a matter of how we respond and then having the community respond in a smart manner that if you're sick, stay home. And speaking of home, Bolson says there are some steps you can take right now to be prepared in your own home. First, of course, wash your hands and teach your little ones the proper way to wash theirs. Kids, of course, tend to spread germs faster. Second, keep in communication with your kids' schools to find out what crud is going around. Third, it's not a bad idea to stock up on groceries or get a delivery service in the event you're stuck home sick. Also, prepare to be at home by making sure you have time off from work arranged or can work from home. And at the same time, look for child care options if you are sick to not spread the illness to them. Finally, take care of yourself. Eat healthy food, sleep well, and drink lots of liquid to boost your immune system. And just stay home if you have any symptoms. We always want to keep going with our lives, but this will help stop the spread. Juliet. Good advice, Elena. Thank you. 13 on your side is committed to answering your questions and focusing on the facts, not fear. Today, health reporter Val Lego takes a closer look at those medical masks and who should wear them.